Hi kindergarten, it's Mrs. Nelson here to do another read aloud of a nonfiction book. Remember, nonfiction books are full of real information. And this week in science, we have been learning about life cycles. So this book is about desert life cycles. So a bunch of different animals and the life cycles that they take. So this is the title page, Deserts by Sean Callery. And then the table of contents. So today I'm gonna pick and choose a couple pages to read because it does have a lot of information on it. Here's the introduction. Deserts are large areas of land that get very little rain. Often they are hot in the day and cloudy at night. Many desert animals hide under the ground when the sun is up and come out. And when the sun is up, they come out to eat at dusk. So then here is a map to show us where the different deserts are. So you can see all the yellow spaces are where deserts are located. A food chain starts with a product, something that is made of food. A first animal, the first animal in the food chain eats plants and is known as a consumer. Smaller, slower consumers often are hunted by bigger creatures. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And the first page I chose is tarantulas. I thought you might be interested in tarantulas. Super spooky to me, but they are very cool. So this is the heading, tarantulas, and it's gonna teach us about tarantulas now. Tarantulas, the Western Desert Tarantula is a large, hairy, burrowing spider. It hides for most of the day and comes out at night to stalk and bite and eat anything it can catch from insects to mice. Wow, it's such a big spider, it can eat mice. How interesting. And we're gonna go ahead and read about its life cycle. After mating, the female spins a, a silken sack and lays up to a thousand eggs in it. She guards the sack, turning it so that the eggs do not get crushed. Step number two, about seven weeks later, the spiderlings hatch. They feed on the yolk from their eggs and stay safe near their mother for three to six days. Step three, then the young leaves to find their own burrows. They shed their hard exoskeleton several times as their bodies grow. And four, the tarantula injects its prey with venom, killing it and turning its inside into soup. Yikes. And then it sucks the liquid out of its, out of its mouth like a straw. Wow, I do not want to run into a tarantula. All right, and the next page I chose is a bobcat. I kind of look like a bobcat today, don't I? Bobcats. The bobcats or lynx live in many habitats, including deserts. It is a tough cat that uses its senses of sight, smell, and hearing to hunt down its prey, which ranges from deers and snakes to insects. So let's go ahead and read about its life cycle. Step number one, a male and a female bobcat meet only to mate. About 10 weeks after mating, the female gives birth to a litter, usually two to four cats. Two, the kittens are tiny, blind, and helpless. Their eyes open after 10 days and they are suckling from their mother's milk. So they are also mammals. They drink milk from their mommy. Three, in three to five months, they start to follow their mother on her nighttime hunting trips, learning to track and catch prey in the darkness. Four, young bobcats leave their mother after a year and never return. As adults, they will live alone, marking their territories with a scent. And then here is a map of the food chain. So it starts with more predators that do lots of hunting. And then down here to the leaves and the plants that help feed all of these animals. So that is a food chain or a food web. And then in the back of the book, we have the glossary. So it has all the fancy words in here. So it'll explain all those fancy words to us. Well, we're gonna stop there. I hope you enjoyed the desert book. I would like you to pick a desert animal and you could do extra research at your house and just talk about that desert animal. Write a heading, draw a picture, write some labels, and then tell me about the desert animal that you researched. All right, good luck guys.